Hey guys, just doing this video real quick for you to let you know that the, um, I'm going to try and stream for Tech Talk Tuesday. I'm going to try and stream on the gaming machine. Um, pretty much the encoding rig, as you can see, is powered down, shut down, and will stay down until the first or a little bit after, simply because the power supply died. Um, what I mean by that is it, it will boot up, it will power up and everything else. But the problem is um, on the 3.3 volt rail, which is what powers your, your hard drives and all your external peripherals, I'm only getting 2.9 volts, which is not enough to fire up the hard drives. So my BIOS doesn't read the hard drives. I thought it was a dead hard drive. I didn't think it was my power supply. You, you don't think it's the power supply until it's like way too bloody late. And um, I'd already thrown out one Western Digital Terabyte Blue. And what made me look at the power supply was I have this little um, USB 3 hot swap uh, thing for external drives, for like laptop drives and, and SSDs. And every drive that I've tried to use as an operating system drive for this, for the encoding rig, I threw in there and it got read immediately by this machine, by my wife's machine, by our roommate's machine, by my laptop, by every other PC except for this one. And at first I thought, great, it's the motherboard, you know, thinking that the motherboard's dead. If you're wondering, I'm playing a little bit of the division. Um, I honestly thought, great, the freaking motherboard's dead or the SATA ports are damaged or something. Um, and I tried every way that I could think of to jerry-rig uh, it to even read a drive. I even threw up a, 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 a CD-ROM drive and it wouldn't read the CD-ROM drive. Yeah, I know the CD-ROM drive is good. I don't use CD-ROM drives anymore because it's a dead media, but I still have some drives for, you know, troubleshooting and things like that. And so that's when I came to the conclusion. And, and luckily enough for me, knock on wood, that old motherboard has the ability to do a hardware exam on all the, on all the voltage rails. Plus... Tried and true, Electrotech. I love this multimeter. And um, literally, I even hooked up the multimeter, and the multimeter was going 2.9 volts. I'm like, that's not right. So the motherboard was telling me the truth. The multimeter was telling me the truth. And it's gotten to the point where I'm even considering powering down my gaming rig, taking the power supply out of it, throwing it in the rig to, just to test, you know? and um, see if I can't get that drive to fire up and if I can, great, I'll install Windows 10 on it and, and, and you know, then download XSplit and then, and then do a whole bunch of other bloody things that I've got to do. Um, and I hope that that works out for me. Um, and then this thing will be down though and this is my gaming rig, this is what I live stream on. So this is the current dilemma I've got. I've got plenty of old power supplies. It's just they're not even powerful enough to even turn the graphics card on. And I think that's what's causing the graphics card to constantly crash on me. Um, pretty much my, my system powers up. It's like drivers crash, drivers crash, drivers crash, drivers crash. I pull up a web browser, drivers crash, drivers crash, drivers crash. This is why I haven't been rendering any videos. Um, simply because I use, I use Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas uses the CUDA cores on your graphics card. And I was thinking that my graphics card was dead and I couldn't, you, you know, and I'm, so I'm like, oh crap. So that's why I haven't been putting many videos out. Um, and if I have that unedited, very similar to this one, which is just literally take right out the camera, throw into uh, an SD card reader, throw it into a USB port, upload, done. I don't even do thumbnails right now. Um, simply because I can't because my encoding rig was also my graphics rig where I did like all my thumbnails and my video editing and things like that and with it being down right now I can't do any of that um, everyone's like well just you know why don't you just you know throw X split on uh, the um, gaming PC and just game with the PC and I'm like I would love to but that defeats the purpose of having a capture card that defeats the purpose of having a second PC that defeats the purpose of practically everything and um, so yeah, I, and I gotta give props to my wife because she looked at me and said, "We'll take the power supply out of my PC." And I'm like, "No, you need your PC." And she's like, "But I got my laptop." And I'm like, "It doesn't matter. You need your PC. You know, you you play your video games on it. You talk to your friends on Skype, and and 
you can't moderate one of my streams if you're not there with your PC, you know what I mean? It just didn't make sense. But like I said, I've got a ton of power supplies. I just can't use them. Um, simply because I just don't have the wattage. I just don't have the um, vumph, so to say. They don't have uh, um, uh, the juice to, to power up the graphics card and everything else. Plus, I don't even think they even have uh, 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 eight pins on them. I think one of them has a four pin on them. So that should tell you how old those power supplies are. Uh, and the majority of them I've converted into lab power supplies where they just sit on my desk and I toggle toggle switch and they power up like circuits for model kits and things like that so yeah so that's why there's not going to be much in the way of streams um, and if they are it's probably going to be like something simple like a creative stream where I'm just farting around doing some photoshop stuff and whatnot um, and uh, it's also why I, I don't really play you know, game that much because seeing my game my encoding rig turned off is just depressing me and I hate to say it, but it is. It is. It's actually freaking depressing. It's making me depressed. Seeing her all powered down like that. And it, it's just like, Dad, turn me on. Dad, turn me on. Dad, turn me on, please. You know, and it's just really depressing me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. Uh, I just finished watching a Paul's Hardware video um, about how he runs his channel and uh, how, how open he is. And um, man after my own heart. Um, cares about his uh, f he cares about his followers he cares about his, cares about his viewers uh, let me just quit no I don't want to log out I want to quit what? anyway so yeah that's that's the, the big thing I've got right now um, about what's going on why I haven't been live streaming guys and I do apologize and I will be balls to the wall flat out going for it once I get a decent power supply in the machine um, that power supply is about four years old it's out of warranty anyway so but like I said the 3.3 volt rail is just <laughs> trashed and um, it's really starting to piss me off um, so yeah other than that I, I learned how to rebuild a uh, 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 um, tanks for my uh, wife's VP that use um, canthol wire and 100% and cotton and stuff a friend of mine went through on uh, um, Google Plus and showed me how to do it properly and uh, I've been practicing and I'm getting pretty good at it I am getting pretty good at it so uh, yeah that's pretty cool and I'm not going to do any videos on it because I, I, I don't bother the whole vape thing um, my wife, she had a she she has done a few va a few vaping videos. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, so again, thanks guys for watching and uh, thanks for liking, comment, in and all my new subscribers. A big thank you to a literally metric ass ton of new subscribers I got. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and, and to all the haters that are commenting on my old videos saying I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, etc., etc. You gotta look at the little date underneath when the video first went live you know that should fucking tell you something you morons anyway guys i'm out of here uh, i will see you all uh, when i see you all next and uh, i love you all and uh, be kind be safe be nice to each other and keep yourself fine keep your enemies dying cobra commander is out and i'll see you sexy bitches in the next one so bye